everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. We're currently on the side of the road. Uh, we're on our way to the Are bridge to nowhere. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's recording. <laughs> can you see that? No. Yes, you can. Are you joking? Oh, I see it. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. Hey everyone, good morning. Oh my god. Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are watching this. Uh, welcome to today's vlog. We are currently on the side of the road in front of this awesome dam. Um, we are about 20 minutes away from the Bridge to Nowhere Trail um, up in, I think it's called La Verne, California. Is that the city? I think it's called La Verne. Um, so we uh, stayed at one of my friend's house in Riverside last night, drove like halfway, and then our drive this morning was only like an hour and 20 minutes. Um, we stopped and had a really good breakfast. That crispy French toast was bomb. I've never had something like that. It was so good. It was like French toast with like crushed up cornflakes battered over top it was excellent with berries on top so we just passed a sign that said something about gabriel monument and i think we're in the angeles national forest so i'm guessing that's where the trail is located it said it was about a 1200 foot elevation gain so hope we don't pass out and die on the way there because we're both out of shape and suck at hiking anyway, so. <laughs> but this time we brought water because we usually never bring water. So we just stopped at Target and we got some candy and a case of water. So we're good there. But look how cool that background is. Yeah, it's so give you, we'll give you a cool view though. Service. Yeah, it would definitely be sketchy here at night. Neither of us have any service, so if you wreck your car, you're just you're just dying. Yeah. And these bicyclists, like what if they crash? So I mean I guess somebody would see them anyway, but we pass some motorcyclists too and they're just fully geared up. Mm -hmm. Everything you can imagine. Like they pads not outside wanna... their pants. Right, okay. right. Kevlar everywhere. Mm -hmm. They do not want to risk wrecking at all. Mm -hmm. It's understandable. Oh, here's a good shot of the canyon. So it goes pretty deep and far in the distance. Oh yeah, nice. Pretty much just rolling mountains as far as you can see. Huh. Right. But there's this it had to be a river at one point. It just runs through the middle of everything. Yeah. And it's just dried up now. Which is sad because that would be so cool if that was just a hundred foot wide river running through all these mountains. Yeah. Just blasting rushing water. So we found about a million cars up here. <laughs> which is not what we expected. We're like three minutes from the site, maybe a mile out. It oh. said the San, Gra San Gabriel Mountains Oaks picnic area. Well, we have we have seen like zero humans compared to the amount of cars that are up here. Yeah. So we don't know if they're like down here or there was like a small camping area up over there. But I'm so confused. Okay, we finally made it. <laughs> we finally found where all these cars go to. There's like a million people here. Yeah. A million. There's so many cars. We'll take a video when we walk up there. But we're kind of parked like maybe a quarter mile, even less from the trailhead. And we just talked to this couple and they said they've been here since 7 and it's noon. So it took them five hours. And we're going to beat them. It's not going to take us five hours, hopefully. <laughs> or we're going to die. Because it's 91 degrees outside according to the old car. So... We're gonna pack some water and head out and take you guys with us. They told us two Sorry. liters per person water. Yeah. 
which is like four water bottles, I'd say. Thank God we bought the whole pack at Target. Yeah, we got a case of water at Target. This we chick's in a long potato sleeve. potato chip hike oh, yeah. of zero water. These people are in long sleeves. What? Uh -huh. I'm like such a creeper. What? I get the sun protection, but... Oh my goodness. Uh, that's ridiculous. Okay. Well, we're about to go rest. Bye! On the agenda today is hopefully get to see the bridge. I've heard of people getting lost and ended up under it. We were planning on bungee jumping off of it, but you have to make reservations the day before and then you get here at 7 a.m. We got here like noon, so that's off the menu. But we could still get to see people bungee jump, which would be cool. So we have see the bridge, see people bungee jump, get caught in a wildfire and get bit by a rattlesnake all on the menu today. We'll see what happens. This is just the beginning. So we did just confirm with one more competitor on this trail that it takes about two and a half, three hours just to get there. Right? I love how people tell you like how long it just takes to get there because every person's been like oh yeah like you know two and a half I'm like total and they're like to get there I'm like why don't you just tell, <laughs> tell me the total hike time give me the round trip yes. all right so I know if I can turn around and leave just now just break my heart <laughs> just break my heart right away so let's see how far this is how far we've been walking this is how many minutes two well, about two minutes <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep you guys updated fire up the camera if we find some awesome stuff we want to show you heard there's some water crossings you can get wet if you choose take your shoes off do whatever so we'll try to show all the highlights of the trail and then as always we have a timer running to give you guys like a true true timing on the trail instead of just a guesstimate get it down to the minute for all the viewers out there the viewsers so stay tuned enjoy We'll be back at you soon. So again, we just barely walked maybe five minutes and we're at another like beautiful part of this river. It's been so magical so far because we started off like Dylan was saying in the last like clip in like the desert and then you just kind of like turn this corner you walk down this small path and then you just hit the river forever and it's beautiful there's greenery there's flowers the blue sky and then built along the way just because it's so heavily trafficked people have like built all these little ways to get across to the path because um, we read online when you look on all trails oh, sorry like the path will say you have to cross like half a dozen running streams and so people are always worried about waterproof shoes because obviously you don't want to hike in wet shoes and socks um but people have just gotten like so clever and have put all these like fun little rocks together and here there's like a stick i don't know if you can walk on that one though so we might see dylan beefing i don't know oh he wants to show off for the camera i love that <laughs> I thought you were gonna go on this stick. <laughs> anyway, just this beautiful running water with these like bright white rocks over there. Now it's like gorgeous in the shade <laughs> to be here and like the water is just so clear and the breeze feels so good. So anyway, okay, well we're 25 minutes in, maybe like a mile and a half. So we only have three and a half more to go just to get there. And then five back. We made it. So we made it to the bridge. It was like five mile hike. It took two hours at least, yeah. probably more. Yeah, I think it was like two hours and 10 minutes for being yeah. technical. I think if you're under two hours, that's a great time. Yeah. It's really easy to get lost. And unfortunately, we can't bungee jump because we didn't make reservations. And they do take walk-ons for 120 bucks, but we left our wallet in the car. 
And even if you have your credit card memorized, like I do, they have to have a picture of your card. So take a picture if you don't want to actually bring your credit card or debit card. Yeah. So they like just to verify your name. Yeah. Which kind of sucks. So they do take walk-ons every Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Let me see if I can catch a jump for you guys. Right here, right here. So. Oh, he just bashed her head. Oh my god. See, the bridge is really cool. It's like a stone bridge, yeah. And if you keep walking past the bridge this way, you can take this trail all the way down to the water down there. It's almost like a little swimming hole in the shade. Not sure if you can see it or not. So we're gonna go down there, jump in the water, get some shots of the bridge from down low so you can see the full thing. Overall, pretty awesome. Literally a bridge to nowhere for no reason. But, uh, like in all honesty, on the trail, the last part is probably the most grueling just because. You have to get up on this side piece that a lot of people miss because everyone the entire hike just says follow the creek, follow the creek. But at one point you have to like go up towards like the actual mountain and hike on this little dirt trail and then you take that for like 20 to 25 minutes and that's probably like, the most grueling just because even when we got up on there Dylan was like the temperature just went up like 8 degrees and it was so true. So like you've already been hiking for like 2 hours, you're almost there and then it gets just like super hot, a little bit grueling. But all in all, super, super cool hike. So much water, so many like pretty like white vibrant rocks and so much greenery. And then you hit this and there's like people, they're like blaring awesome music, just like good vibes, bungee jumping off this. And there's like so many people in the water. So definitely would recommend, 100%. I agree, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. It's a long hike, definitely. Like at the beginning of the video, we said we are not hikers, but yeah. I would do that again if anyone ever wanted to come out I think, here. I think two and a half hours is a good time. Yeah. Under two hours is an amazing time, but three hours is probably like a solid average. Yeah. Because it's really easy to get lost. Like if you follow the water the whole time, it's, it's misleading. It's gonna, like, it's gonna get you lost even faster. And there's not really any signs or some spray painted arrows that are, don't really help that much. And every way it looks like it's a trail because everyone's getting lost and creating their own trail. So. But Dylan, Dylan has like a good tactic where like every person we pass, he just keeps saying, is this the bridge to nowhere trail? Is this the bridge to nowhere trail? Cause like on our own, we did take like a couple, I mean, we probably went like a, a couple hundred feet in the wrong direction a couple of times. And like, you'll come into like barbed wire, like not barbed wire, but like wired off areas where people start to wander off the trail and they just wire it off, but there's really no direction. So just talk to people. There's so many people out here. That'll help you get to where you need to go. So anyway, we're gonna go hop in the water because it's so hot. Let's go see the water. That's awesome. God, I'm gonna jump in now. <laughs> 